Now, my opponent, uh, you know, has been trying to do a two-step and reposition and got a got an extreme makeover. But But the bottom line is, uh, his underlying philosophy is uh, the top-down economics that we've seen before. He thinks that if we just spend another $5 trillion on tax cuts, that yes, skew towards the wealthiest, if we get rid of more regulations on Wall Street, then our problems will be solved. Jobs and prosperity will rain down from the sky, the deficits will magically disappear, we will live happily ever after. Even though he's been proposing this plan for months now, he's had a little trouble explaining just how it would work without blowing a hole in the deficit or making middle-class families pick up the tab. The other night, he ruled out asking millionaires and billionaires to pay even a dime more in taxes. He said there's no way that he'd close the loophole that gives big oil companies billions each year in corporate welfare. Ending tax breaks for corporations that move jobs and profits overseas, He'd never heard of such a thing. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? When, when he was asked what he'd actually do to cut spending and reduce the deficit, he, his big example was to go after public television. <laughs> so, for all for all you moms and kids out there, don't worry. Somebody is finally getting tough on Big Bird. <laughs> Rounding him up. Elmo's got to watch out, too. <laughs> Governor Romney plans to let Wall Street run wild again, but he's going to bring down the hammer on Sesame Street. It makes perfect sense. Virginia, we can't afford to double down on the same old top-down economic policies that caused this mess in the first place. We cannot afford another round of tax cuts for the wealthy. We can't afford to gut our investments in education or clean energy or research and technology. We can't afford to roll back regulations on Wall Street banks or oil companies or insurance companies. That is not a jobs plan. It's not a plan to grow our economy. It's sure not a plan to strengthen our middle class. We have been there. We have tried that. We're not going back. We are moving forward. We've got a different view about how we create jobs and prosperity in this country.